Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Dave here with Go Gamers, and today we're going to look at this PS4 Fat with Blu ray drive issues. So let's hook it up and see what's going on. Alright, so we have this PS4 Fat Model console. Customers dropped it off, said that they was having issues with the Blu ray drive, saying that. <laughs> It wasn't reading and a whole bunch of stuff. So I want to hook it up, actually see what's going on with this console, see if this is going to be an easy fix or a complicated fix. And hopefully this video can help you guys out, especially when it comes to diagnosing your own console and seeing if this patch, this problem is similar to yours. So we're going to power the console on. Right now we have the blue light. And while that's powering on, I am going to plug in the HDMI port and the best way to l l test out these blu-ray drives is to use your ears it's because if you actually use your ear and you listen to that drive how these blu-ray drives work is it'll try it'll spin it'll try to read it if it can't read it it'll slightly push out the disc and pop it back in and by the way it sounds right now, it's having a hard time. So I can hear the laser inside of the console really, really trying to read it and it's not able to read it correctly. So what it does is it'll, it spins and then it'll stop. It'll spin and it'll stop. It'll spin and it'll stop and then it'll try to eject the, the game and then it'll try to pop it back in which is the most common issue so if you're hearing a whole bunch of clunking and stuff coming on for your game coming out of your game console that's more than likely what it's going to be and just to make a hundred percent sure it's not because of any smudges on the disc or nothing like that let's redo that but more than likely that's what it is by just the way that laser sounds it sounds like it's struggling quite a bit now People's first instinct is to do it like how they used to do back in the PS2 days and clean the laser. I couldn't tell you how many times people brought their consoles up here thinking that cleaning that laser will actually work. Maybe once in a blue moon that will work. Me personally, I have never seen it work. I'll, I see it work all the time when it comes to PS2s. When I get to repairing PS2s, I'll show you guys. Those are really easy when it comes to cleaning out those lasers. With these, more nine times out of ten, you actually have to take out that Blu-ray drive. And it's still not even reading that game, so I'm not even about to go to the main screen because I know. But I'm going to make sure we can actually go to the main screen just to make sure Wi-Fi connectivity works and everything else is good. So we go to look at this. So Wi-Fi... I mean, Bluetooth connections and everything is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and cut this thing off. We're going to take it apart. And we're going to get down to this Blu-ray drive and see about getting this thing replaced. So actually, by the looks of it, if you can see, guess what's missing? All the, the one warranty sticker and the two tabs. That sits right over these screws, meaning that this customer more than likely already tried to open it up. And clean the laser. Now, I actually didn't notice this until I literally turned it around to look. So, um, so exactly like how I told you guys, most of the time, customers that come in here, they try to clean it out themselves. It never works. Now, I'm going to blow this out real quick because this is pretty dusty. All right, so let's go on ahead and see what kind of Blu-ray drive we got. So, we got the... 893-620-11 drive, which is similar to the B20 um, Blu-ray drives. So um, let's go ahead and pop it, pop off this back plate, and get this laser out of here. And. So we have a one eye laser. I will air dust out this Blu-ray and I'm going to come right back with another one eye laser. All right, so we have our brand new one eye laser. Here is the old one. Old one is going to go in the trash. New one's going to go in. 
This came from a donor Blu-ray drive that actually had a bad drive. So I threw away the bad drive. Well, took it down to the, the recycling place. And kept the laser. It's always the best thing to do with those type of drives. Some people like to just toss the whole laser and take that down to the recyclers. Instead of actually taking out the good parts, I take out all the good parts and whatever. I don't feel like really messing around with. I usually just toss it. Alright, so we have power. And... Alright, so we have power and video hooked in. Button is working fine. Let's go ahead and cut it on. I'm just going to put it in and see what I can hear first before I even turn over to the TV. It's working out so far. Okay, it's, it sounds beautiful. So actually I hooked in my wrong HDMI cable. Like, let me hook in the correct one. But this thing sounds beautiful. It's spinning. It's working 100%. And let's see, you know, this is the worst thing when you can't see something, you try to get something in there, it's the worst. So I'm going to eject it, make sure the eject works fine, put it back in there, turn it over to the TV, and let me hook up my controller, let's see if we can see the game download. Alright, so here we go. Um... It is currently downloading. Let me make sure it can at least download a little bit once it fully loads up the game. Yeah, so that means this is a good Blu-ray laser. This game on average takes about 10 or so odd minutes to download. So what I do is I always make sure it always takes all Blu-ray lasers about 10 minutes to load this game. I use the same exact game every time. And this is loading up actually qu quicker than the average Blu-ray laser. So they're going to be happy with this. So we're good. So that is it for today's video. If this video did help you guys out a lot, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. If you have any questions or anything like that, please go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to try to get to as many comments as possible. And if you guys did find this video even more helpful and you want to see more help videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as I upload daily. So I said, I hope to see you guys on the next video and catch you later.